Welcome back. I'm Nicole B.W. and this is Sky Factory 2. So I have went ahead and if you don't know about this, I didn't really explain it before. Um, I'm creating witch water and it doesn't look like there's anything in it because it's like way up here. Uh, it's really weird. Down below I have a um, the Ender IO Reservoir, so that is basically an infinite water source, and then I have the Extra Utilities Transfer Nodes Liquid, so that is being transferred into the barrel. Uh, when you have mycelium next to the barrel, then it changes the water into witch water, then I have this pulling out the witch water and it going into a barrel, and we already have the barrel full, so there we go, that was quick. Uh, I went into the nether and got four total uh, of the blaze spawners. I'm planning on getting a couple more, but uh, I wanted to quickly set this up. It's kind of loud in my ears. Um, to kill them and get their blaze rods because I really needed blaze rods for the ender tanks. And uh, so we have ender tanks now. And I have moved all of this setup. We have the inner tank here coming off. I haven't removed these pipes yet. I need to. I moved the uh, the magma magmatic dynamos over here to power all of the machines upstairs. And then we have the the inner tank. They're feeding all of them. So that is that. Then over here, if we could quickly fly over here. I still haven't finished putting up the glass. Uh, I have, I moved a couple of the magmatic dynamos over here with the ender tank. It's being fed back here. So that is really helping out our farm. And it's really kind of keeping up with the energy. I also put my uh, Tinker's Cobalt Axe. I haven't put anything on it. It doesn't level up in there. Uh, I thought maybe it might, but it doesn't. So today, what we are going to do, and I should have probably planned this out better, is we are going to activate a division sigil. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna quickly do it. Should we do it over here? Maybe we can cover up these lights so it'll be darker. It might be too bright over here. Let's cover that one up. So we need to lay out dirt. I don't know how much, so I'm just laying this out. Do we need grass or can it be just regular dirt? I don't know. So let's put this down. We need a redstone ring around it. We might need to lay out some more grass and then shift click. It has a redstone circle, circles placed on dirt, can see the moon, natural earth. So this is enough and it's in darkness. So that worked, um, but we have to do it at midnight and it's already past midnight. So not a big deal. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put some um, torches up and we'll put one there too because I'm I've got this all covered. I don't want anything to spawn up here. Uh, yeah. And we'll get rid of the torches before we do the activation sigil. So or the ritual. So let me um I don't really think there's anything else. 
Uh, I covered up that Ender I.O. cable there that was attached to the vacuum hopper and it really did make a difference. It's really dark in there now, so hopefully that will help a little bit. I don't think it will, but maybe, I don't know. So let me get, put my dirt back in there. Uh, let me come back when it is time for the ritual. Okay, so here it is, day 208, and it is, what, 9, 16, 9, almost 9.20 at night. We're getting close to midnight. I've taken out the torches. We are about ready to go, and I'm getting nervous because... <laughs> We have our jetpack, so we can fly away. We have the, the elevators, so we can leave if it gets a little too uh, much for us. But I don't think it will. We have the dark armor, so that's not too bad. And as long as we dig it up quickly with our silk touch shovel, we shouldn't have too much of a problem. And I have uh, gotten a pig. So... Our, it's almost midnight, almost midnight. I'm so nervous. Okay, so the division sigil will start glowing when it's time. Then it, we need to put the pig on top of the enchantment table and then kill it with the sword. And then that will turn all of this grass into cursed earth, which will then start spawning mobs. So the quicker we get it, uh, up, the less chance of us uh, getting killed. So <laughs> that is going to be, I think we have to wait till 1130. So when it says 2330, it will be time. So, okay. <laughs> I don't play with mobs for a reason. Uh, I don't like them. All right. Here we go. It's now glowing. We can right click on it. It says perform the sacrifice. So put that down. Yee! Oh, creeper. Creeper. No, creeper, creeper, creeper. No, creeper. Oh my gosh, you're so fast. You're so fast. Ho 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 No 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 I didn't hurt you did I? Okay. I'm keeping an eye on you. <laughs> I guess we'll just have a zombie pigman uh walking around our base. Uh it started on fire because I I uh dug up the piece that was over the light and the light turns it or catches it on fire and as you see we didn't get all of them into um hello you kind of scaring me there yeah you want to go you want to go you should go <laughs> i don't want you can we pick you up? We can't pick you up. Why can't we pick you up? Why can't we pick him up? I don't know, but... So now we have our activated division sigil. And there are a certain number of uses for each one. That's why I wanted to keep a few of them around. So we do have Cursed Earth. We don't have a whole lot, but it does spread to normal dirt. So we don't have uh, that big a deal with it. Uh, if you put it underneath the spawners, put a piece of cursed earth underneath the spawners, the spawners will run no matter whether you are near them or not. So I would like to move this room somewhere else. I think we're gonna go off of the mob building there, uh, go off to the side and build a mob spawning area for spawners and stuff like that. 
So that's what I plan on doing with that. And um, we might change this out to be Cursed Earth. Uh, so that way it's working when I'm over there or not. I don't know. I haven't decided that part yet. And now with this, we can make unstable ingots. And if you guys have seen me, <laughs> watched me before, I don't do well with unstable ingots. So these will need to make the portal to the deep dark, which is something that we're going to need to do. Uh, we're going to need four quadruple compressed cobblestone and one quintuple compressed cobblestone. So we're going to need a lot of cobblestone, which is kind of why I had that one started <laughs> down below. Uh, but we can make a destruction pickaxe. Uh, we can make those uh, Cialis Lux lapis blocks. Um, those are kind of interesting, but I don't think I would want to waste a diamond on those. Uh, we can make some ineffable glass, which is pretty cool. Uh, we can make dark ineffable glass, or, or ethereal glass, which we can go through. Uh, but more important, we can make the angel rings, but we're still going to need another star. Uh, I'm going to make the fairy rings. And then we can make some more tools. So I'm wondering if the healing axe will work. It looks like there's a durability. So I don't know if the durability will get used up in our tree farm or not. I kind of want to test that out. Um, and I want to make a builder's wand, which is very important. So to, in order to make the unstable ingots, uh, you can divide iron by diamond, or you can put nine semi-stable nuggets together to make one unstable ingot. Uh, to make the semi-stable nuggets, it is one nugget per diamond. So you can either, oh wait, um, you, let's go back. Not that, okay. Uh, you can either use one diamond with iron to make an unstable ingot, or you can make nine diamonds to make one stable ingot. The difference is you have to be quick when you craft with these. These will not explode. These will explode and kill you. I think it's worth it. We kind of have a way to make diamonds, and I've already gotten over two stacks of diamonds. So I'm probably going to use stable ingots, nuggets, when uh, making them. Yeah, because I don't plan on making that many tools. We're going to need four. Um, and then, let's see. And then we're going to need two more for the rings. So that's six. And then one more. So seven is what we're really going to need. Um, and then we will need to make one of these eventually. So yeah, nine. That's 81 diamond. <laughs> but by the time we get to all of that, uh, we'll have a lot more diamonds. So it's not that big a deal. And I think that is where I'm going to leave off with uh, when you make the nuggets or when you make the unstable ingots or the stable ingots, you're going to have to use a vanilla crafting table. Uh, so keep that in mind. And you've seen the recipes for that. That's some pretty neat stuff that you can make with those. Uh, but we're going to have to work on mob farming and getting regular farms up, as well as I need a power source to recharge my uh, jetpack because this is going too slow since I made the um, the magmatic dynamos I kind of whittled it down so I'm gonna have to have its own power source for my jetpack recharging until we can get another star so I can fly with the ring which would be great okay so that's the end of my episode I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys enjoy playing Sky Factory 2 and playing Minecraft, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!